Grateful Dead guitarist Jerry Garcia has been dead for nearly a month now, but many of the band's fans are still in a state of shock. This is a band whose appeal cut across all boundaries of age, class, and even politics, and now the Legion of Deadheads is wondering not only where do they go from here, but whether the dead themselves will be going along with them. Garcia's death marks the end of an era, but is it also the end of the band? We put some of these questions to guitarist Bob Weir last week at his home in San Francisco, and here's what we learned. Where were you when you, you heard the bad news about Jerry? I was uh, just getting out of bed in New Hampshire. Oh, wow. Was this, was this something that you would, uh, you thought, thought maybe this would happen? I mean, did his health seem to be bad, or did you say, well, someday this is going to happen? Or was it a real shock? Well, you know, you, all, you always knew the other shoe was going to drop mm -hmm. sooner or later. Um, I never really expected him to outlive me or nothing like that. This has been a, a really shocking thing for the fans out there right now, but how did the band respond? Did, did the whole group get together or did you all go separate ways? Oh, we all got together. Um, I, I got on an airplane the next morning and came back here and we all got together that night and went over and viewed the stiff. And then, uh, and then we all got together and had a drink or two. Yeah. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> it just didn't really help at all. Was it, was it one of those things where it was weeping and crying, or was it more, more Jerry-like? It was more Jerry-like. I don't think, uh, I don't think any, anybody, um, very, very few people at least, uh, were apt to, uh, to mope and sob and all that kind of stuff, being secure in the sure, sure and certain knowledge that Jerry would be pissed off about that. <laughs> Have you personally encountered any fans since this happened? I mean, it got people coming to you on the street. And, All the time. You know, what are they saying out there? Well, they're Apart mostly the saying, you know, they're, you know they're, they're pouring out a little bit of their hearts, you know, and they're, they're assuming that, uh, they're assuming that, I think a lot of them are assuming that I'm taking this a lot harder than I am. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't tend to, you know, death is so final that uh, I can't argue with it and I can't really react that much to it because, yeah. It's a, a change that you absolutely have to accept right now. Well, I can't take Jerry's death personally. He didn't do that to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, so when they come up to me on the street, I think they're trying to uh, trying to give me a little strength that I don't really need. They could they could keep it for themselves and and uh, and, and uh, but if they if they feel they have to share something with me here, well here I am. You've been working on an album at the time. What's going to become of whatever was done? We're going to have a look, see at uh, what we've got, and I, I tend to think we have more there than the rest of the guys. I may not be quite the perfectionist I used to be about that kind of stuff, and um, I think we can play around with it, and you know, add and subtract and stuff like that, and fluff it up, and and maybe have something there that uh, that you know, might be somewhat presentable. Okay, I guess what everyone wants to know is, will the, will the dead go on? I mean, you're all musicians, you all keep playing, but will the band go on, do you think? Or could somebody step in and fill the breach here? We got all kinds of options. We're going to get together in a little bit and sort it out. Um, I can give you absolutely no definitive answer, <laughs> uh, except that we'll get together and kick it around. And as for what Jerry did, that, that real special thing, it's still there. I'm quite sure that if we get together and start kicking stuff around, if we listen, you know, in our hearts and, you know, in, inside somewhere, that we'll hear that thread that we've always heard. Yeah. And uh, I'm, sure he's, you know, I'm sure he's still singing. You know, I can hear it. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure anyone who, uh, who was ever exposed to that, you know, that joy and that creativity and that wickedness and all that kind of stuff that, uh, that he used to uh, project, that mischief and, uh, and the love. Um, it's still there, you know, it's in you. You can't, you can't lose that. It's once, once you catch that, it stays in, it stays in you. And so uh, it's not like he's gone. And it's not like if we get together, he won't be there. Whatever happens with the material the Grateful Dead are recording at the time of Jerry Garcia's death, there will be a new live album out at the end of this month called Hundred Year Hall, which was recorded 23 years ago in Frankfurt, Germany, on the same tour that yielded the three-record set Europe 72.